Okay, so the scene is first year, uh, white coat ceremony morning. So at this time, I live in Delco still, I just moved in, and my roommate was Rachel Goldberg. And she, I, as most of you guys know, she's this adorable little girl. She's the sweetest little thing. So we wake up in the morning, we're getting ready. So Rachel, Rachel lives in the master bedroom. So she's got her own bedroom and the bathroom is right attached to that. I live in the smaller bedroom where my bathroom is kind of across the hall. So I'm running around back and forth across the hall and you know, getting dressed, brushing my teeth, making breakfast, getting my tea ready. Um, you know, and I don't see Rachel because she's back in her room taking care of her own things. And after you know, however much time, we're, I'm ready to go. So I go to knock on Rachel's door to see if she's ready to go too, so we can head over to the ceremony. You know, Our family's already there, they're getting excited and ready for us to show up and get donned with our white coats. So I walk over to her door and I reach up to knock and it's already cracked a little bit and then I hear a little voice talking to herself and I'm like, oh, this is going to be cold. Like, what, like, what is she saying to herself? And I lean in and I listen and I hear, today is the first day of the rest of my life. And that's it. I lost it. I lost it completely. I was on the floor laughing. Uh, she immediately like swings the door open. She's like, no, Andrew, <laughs> you didn't hear that. It was too late. It's too late. I'm already texting the entire group meet. Um, she, if you ask her, she'll tell you that she was talking to someone. She's on the phone with someone or something, but she just gave herself a pep talk. I know it.